Hosted remote desktops are the modern way to run your line of business desktop applications, but in the cloud. So you can work anywhere in the world on your own device without worrying about security, reliability, complexity or the costs. In this demo, I'm going to show you all the various methods you can use to connect to your remote desktop or the applications running on it, including the full remote desktop. Or you can launch your remote applications on their own, direct from your PC start menu with remote apps. You can even run your applications inside a web browser with a remote desktop web client. Or try a web apps portal to launch your remote apps on your PC. And finally, use a remote desktop client app to run your applications on a non-Windows device such as Mac, iPad, Android tablets or even smartphones. So let's start with a full remote desktop. Remote desktops are launched using a pre-configured file that you'll be given by your Office Anywhere when you sign up. The file securely logs you onto the remote desktop server and presents you with a remote desktop that looks almost identical to a Windows 10 desktop on your PC. But it's actually a Windows 2016 server which allows multiple people to log on at once and share applications and data. All the applications available to you are presented as desktop icons and run in exactly the same way as if they would if they were running on your PC. On this demo server we've just installed applications that everyone will be familiar with but we can install any Windows desktop application that you need to run your business. Every user in your company connects to the same server so you can share applications and data as if they were running on the local network but your users could be anywhere in the world. If we run Windows Explorer, you can see there are several areas to save documents. A shared network drive that you and colleagues can all access, your own documents folder private to yourself, and you can also save files to your local PC if needed. Anything you do save gets backed up as part of the service and the backups run three times a day and are retained for 20 days. We close our applications as we would on a local PC or we can leave them running in the background and just disconnect and come back later. So that's the full remote desktop. The next thing I'd like to show you is remote apps. Remote apps are the same applications running on the same remote desktop server but are presented to the user just as individual applications without the full wrap of the remote desktop, so look and feel a bit more like local applications. Users can get to their applications either from the start screen, or from a program group off the start menu, or they can be pinned to the desktop in the traditional way. And just to confirm, this is my local desktop that you're now looking at. Launching the first application takes a few seconds while you log on securely to the remote server. But once connected, there is very little difference between remote apps and the same application if it was installed on your local PC, except perhaps for the ease in which data and documents can be shared with colleagues. You'll notice that as we launch the second application, it opens straight away, as we are already logged on to the remote desktop server. Applications really do look and feel and behave in the same way as locally installed versions. And to be honest, the only way of telling them apart is the different icons with the double arrows in the taskbar. You see these here. As we're working on remote desktops, you'll see that it is really easy to share your files with your colleagues, no matter where they are. When saving files, you have a choice between a shared network drive your personal documents folder, or even your local PC. These are the default options, but you can of course have something completely bespoke, and this isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. So we'll close the applications in a normal way. The next thing to show you is the remote desktop web client. This was just released in 2018 and requires modern browsers such as Internet Explorer 11, Edge, Google Chrome or Safari on a Mac. It doesn't yet work on smartphones or tablets, but maybe that is something Microsoft are working on. Users simply go to a web page and then they can sign in with a Your Office Anywhere account. And hey presto, here are all the applications published to our user. I'm going to start with Sage 50 accounts. 
as this is a great example of an application that might be shared by many users at different branches and who all need to work on it at the same time. So a, a perfect example for a remote desktop service. And it's really important to emphasize that this isn't a browser-based version of Sage 50. It's not a cloud app like Xero or QuickBooks. This is a full Sage desktop application running on a Windows desktop, just presented within a browser. And because it's running on a desktop, it can fully integrate with other applications running on that desktop. For example, Microsoft Excel using Sage's Send to Excel feature. And you'll notice the same file locations for saved documents that we saw remote apps and remote desktops. It's the same thing. So you could work on a browser using a web client and save a document which your colleague in another site or another country can immediately open while working on a full desktop or remote app. It's easy to switch between applications or to launch new ones. And although everything is limited to working within the browser, it is possible to hide the browser window and the menu bar to, to make it work in a full screen. A quick thing to note about the web client, it doesn't yet have the ability for you to save files to your local PC, possibly because it's device agnostic. Maybe this is something that Microsoft will introduce later on. Just to reiterate, you aren't limited to just one method of connecting. All options are available to you to fit particular circumstances at a particular time. Our next demo is for web apps. Web apps is a cross between the web client and remote apps. And just like the web client, you get to your applications via a web portal in a browser. But unlike the remote desktop web client, web apps don't run in the browser. The browser is simply a way of connecting to them. Instead, you download a small pre-configured file designed to run that application as a remote app. You have to select the download to run it. This is a security feature of modern browsers, as you should never be able to download and run software automatically by clicking on something in a website. That's a good way of getting malware and viruses. The application logs onto the remote desktop server and then behaves just the same as remote apps. The handy thing about web apps is that you don't need to set up anything in advance, so it's easier to use if you're on a strange computer. So you'll notice Word here is running in its own window, unlike the web client where it was all running within the browser. The taskbar icons are also the same as remote apps with the two little arrows. And you can, if you want, pin the file that was downloaded to your desktop to make it easier to run the applications in the future. Simply go to the Downloads folder, find the RDP file that was just downloaded and then pin to your desktop. Using this method means you don't need to go to the web apps portal first, you can simply run the programs independent of your browser in the future. However, if this is a computer you use a lot for your remote applications, then I suggest setting up remote apps rather than web apps. You get the proper icons and the apps are all added to your start menu. And just to confirm, if you're saving a, saving a file, you're presented with the same folder structure as the other methods, including saving to the local PC if needed. This is something you can't do with the web client at the minute. Okay, that's web apps. The final connection method to your remote desktop server is a Microsoft Remote Desktop Client app the app is available free from Google Play, Apple Store and Microsoft Store, though to be honest if you're running on a PC the full remote desktop or remote apps are a better way of connecting. By default you can't download files to your local device with the remote desktop client app. Here we're showing it running on an Android smartphone, but could equally be an iPhone, iPad or Android tablet. So again, this is Word running on a Windows remote desktop presented through your phone or tablet. 
It is the Word app running on the smartphone like you might get with Office 365, so it isn't optimised for running on a tablet or a phone, but it does have the full desktop functionality and features of Word running on a PC. It's obviously never going to be as easy to use as it would be running on your PC or a Mac, but it is handy when all you have with you is your phone. And the same settings you would configure for this app can also be used for third-party remote desktop client software for things like Linux devices, Chromebooks, ThinkClient terminals, those kind of things. It's also a fantastic way of running business applications that don't have smartphone apps or versions for Apple Mac. You can use the menu to launch other applications instantly while you're logged on, such as uh, Microsoft Excel, or PowerPoint or any other application. And once the application is running, you can very easily switch between the applications. You can also use the Microsoft Remote Desktop Client app to launch a full remote desktop, so you can very effectively run a Windows desktop on your smartphone. Here's our desktop with the familiar applications. And here's an access application running on the remote desktop on your smartphone. A handy feature is that you can disconnect and leave your applications running in the background and reconnect to it later, possibly from a different device. But if you sign out, it will close the applications. OK, that's Microsoft Remote Desktop Client App, which is the last of our connection methods in this demo. Quick summary of the main things included in our service. Each customer has their own dedicated remote desktop server running as a virtual server in our Manchester data centre. Our onboarding team will install all your applications and then work with you to migrate the data across to the server. And we look after the Windows updates, the Windows antivirus and the backups, as well as supporting your server on a day-to-day -day basis. If you'd like to find out more, get a quote or sign up, please visit our website or contact us using the methods on the screen. Thank you very much for watching.